right, how you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith, and today we're going to take a look at the unbelievable hypocrisy, never-ending hypocrisy of the lunatic lefties, because they're up in arms. I mean, they just, the House just voted to impeach the president again for inciting violence and riots. So let's take a look at some of these, shall we? A reminder that our nation's capital looked like this at the beginning of the summer, and most Democrats in the media shrugged it off as mostly peaceful. Yeah, that don't look too bad. That looks mostly peaceful. A trip down memory lane chronicling the left's reaction to last year's eruption of unrest, claiming the lives of at least 30 people, not only exposes the hypocrisy of suffusing Democrats' condemnation of political violence, but also illustrates a sobering reality that there's plenty of blame to go around for the situation in which the United States now finds itself. Kamala Harris urges followers to cover rioters' bail. Here she is, Kamala Harris. If you're able to, if you're able to chip in now to help post bail for those protesting on the ground in Minnesota. Chris Cuomo, who said protests were supposed, to, who said protests were supposed to be peaceful. This is kind of funny. Please show me where it says protesters are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Actually, it's right in the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble. Peaceably to assemble. Please show me where it says protesters are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Now, too many see the protest as the problem. No, the problem is what forced your fellow citizens to take to the streets. Persistent and poisonous inequities and injustice. And please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Okay, Chris, right here. In the First Amendment, freedom of speech. MSNBC reporter describes fiery scene as mostly a protest. This mostly a protest. It is not generally speaking unruly, but fires have been started. MSNBC reporter says protests in Minneapolis are not generally speaking unruly, as buildings burn in the background. <laughs> CNN labels burning protests fiery, but mostly peaceful. Yeah, that looks mostly peaceful. Fiery, but mostly peaceful protest at the police shooting. I mean, whoa. Democrat National Convention refuses to condemn the riots. Pulitzer Prize winning New York Times writer, destroying property isn't violence. Destroying property which can be replaced is not violence. And Okay. Government-funded PBS reporter denies anarchists are anarchists. These people are anarchists, President Trump says, without providing any evidence, except for all the fires and burning buildings and smashed businesses and looting and robbing. CNN's Don Lemon compares leftist riots to Boston Tea Party. Uh huh. CNN's Chris Saliza complains about the term riot. Trump's efforts to label what was happening in major cities as riots speaks at least somewhat to his desperation, politically speaking, at the moment. Yeah, I mean, why would you call that a riot? That's clearly not a riot. Abigail Marone did a little survey. The picture shows riot, 94%, peaceful protest, 5 Yeah, well, most normal people can see that's a riot. New York Times columnist finds Portland anarchists 
in peace titled, Help Me Find Trump's Anarchist in Portland. <laughs> sure, there are anarchists and Antifa activists in the Portland protests, just as there are radiologists and electricians and lawyers and mechanics. Mostly peaceful. MSNBC's Joy Reid, BLM riots are really just undercover white nationalists causing trouble. Okay, she got to the bottom of it. It's actually just white nationalists. BLM riots, they're white nationalists. Huffington Post releases a video outlining how riots built America. So they're okay if the right people are doing them. All this is related to, you know, last week's riots at the White House. NBC News allegedly instructed staff to avoid the term riot. This will guide our reporting in Minnesota. While the situation on the ground in Minneapolis is fluid, that means all hell is broken loose, and there has been violence, it is most accurate at this time to describe what is happening there as protests, not riot. Gotcha. Even though they just impeached President Trump again for saying he incited right. Seattle mayor on anarchists taking control of downtown. You know, with Chaz, when they took over the downtown area. Don't be afraid of democracy. Seattle is fine. Don't be so afraid of democracy. Washington governor unaware of Seattle occupation. That's news to me, he said when asked about it. The autonomous zone. Chaz, Capitol Hill autonomous zone. News to him. Pelosi, when mobs tore down statues, people will do what they do. By a, respectfully, shouldn't that be done by a commission or the city council, not a mob in the middle of the night throwing it, it into the harbor? People will do what they do. It, it's People do what they do. Shouldn't the guy ask, shouldn't they take that down, you know, during the day, the city? Yeah, people are going to do what they do. And she's fine with that. <clears throat> Rolling Stone republishes article to rethink property destruction. CQ magazine, violent protests work. Slate, riots are a proportionate response. Mother Jones, riots aren't irrational. Time Magazine, the term riot is loaded. <laughs> Vox, woke riots are scary but productive. Capital riots were devastating. Riots are destructive, dangerous, and scary, but can lead to serious social reforms. Every person who forced their way into the Capitol should be arrested. Lock them all up. And guess who's doing the riot? I guess it's who's doing the protesting. Protesting. New York Times has sympathy for BLM riots while blaming Trump as the sole perpetrator for the Wednesday mob. Jacobin Magazine. Looting is justified only for social justice. Not if it's for a cause that is not on their side. And there, <clears throat> this brain surgeon... AOC, the whole point of protesting is to make people uncomfortable. Activists take that discomfort with the status quo and advocate for concrete policy changes. Popular support often starts small and grows. To folks who complain protest demands, to folks who complain protest demands makes others uncomfortable. That's the point. From the genius, AOC. Author writes a book titled In Defense of Looting. NPR guest, Floyd demonstrations are acts of rebellion, not riots. NPR makes up right-wing violence. Here's NPR's version of this story. Right-wing extremists are turning cars into weapons with reports of 50 vehicle ramming incidents since protests erupted nationwide in late May. The actual story... Protesters are arrested following altercation with driver in downtown Louisville. Hmm, that's a little difference. Here is President Trump talking about the violent riots. 
I want to be very clear. I unequivocally condemn the violence that we saw last week. Violence and vandalism have absolutely no place in our country. There you go. Here's Representative Presley calls for targeting GOP officials with unrest in the streets. Looking to the public, you know, this is as much about public outcry and organizing and mobilizing and applying pressure so that this GOP-led Senate and that these governors that continue to carry water for this administration, putting the American people in, in harm's way, um, turning a deaf ear to the needs of our families and our communities, hold them accountable. Well, make the phone call, send the email, show up. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there's unrest in our lives. There needs to be unrest in the streets. But she's a Democrat, she can say that. Maxine Waters. And so, let's stay the course. Let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. And if- Sorry about that screeching. That was probably very disturbing. Nancy Pelosi, I don't know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. This is... I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. Maybe there will be. But that's okay. She's a Democrat. And here's everybody's favorite, Kamala Harris. The protesters should not let up. And I, I want to make clear that I, I know that there are protests still happening. In- yeah. See how happy she was when she said the protests were still happening? The reporting <laughs> That I, that right, I had right. for the first few weeks. Um, right. But they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. And that, they're not, this is a movement, I'm telling you. They're not going to stop. And, and everyone beware, because they're not going to stop. It is gonna, they're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that. On both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. They're not going to let up, and they should not. So there you have it. It's okay for the left to protest and burn shit to the ground, but, you know, we are not allowed to protest. That means arrest, jail time, and impeachment. So there you have it. Hypocrisy from the Democrats. What a shocker. <laughs>